Days are starting to creep up. At the start of the morning when I got here at six o'clock, the cars were facing delays of around half an hour to get through passport controls. Now you can see the cars queuing up. They're facing waits of around an hour. And also over in Calais on the other side of the channel, coach passengers have been facing quite long waits there too. Many of those returning to the UK after what the port is describing a horrible experience here in Dover last weekend when coach passengers in particular face waits of 12, 13, sometimes more than 14 hours to make that journey across the channel. Now the port says it's going to be a very busy day today. It could be another difficult day as well. Now the port says though on the good news side the number of coaches booked this weekend is actually around a third down on the numbers we saw last weekend. There's more space in the port this weekend to process the coach passengers who now have to get off the coach and have their passport stamped. That's a consequence of Brexit. But on the downside, although the ferry companies have been encouraging the coaches to turn up in a staggered routine, so not everyone arrives at once, the reality is that many of these coach journeys have been booked months in advance. So if your tour operator calls you up and says, actually, can you travel tomorrow or the day after? Perhaps you're not going to be best pleased about that. Now, overall, we're told you could face waits of several hours at the pinch points today for the port is optimistic that things aren't going to be as bad as last weekend, but we're watching and waiting.